Would you take your Bible tonight and turn with me to Matthew chapter 14. I want to begin my reading tonight in verse number 15. Get a thought there maybe to help you. The Bible says, And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. And they said unto him, We have, uh, we have here but five loaves and two fishes. And he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to set down on the grass. And he took the five loaves uh, and the two fishes. And looking up into heaven, he blessed it and break. And gave the loaves to the disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they all did, and they, and they did all eat and were filled. And they took up twelve, uh, they took up fragments uh, uh, that remained twelve baskets full. I want to preach just a little while tonight on this thought. God can. God can. Father, in Jesus' name, we sure do love you. Lord, thank you for the day thou was made. Thank you that we can rejoice, we can be glad in it. And Lord, thank you for all the blessings that you stow upon us that we are so unworthy of. And God, then once again we approach the throne, asking you to open up the earth of heaven. God, hear our cry tonight. Hide us behind the cross and under the blood for the next little bit. God, may your words not return void. Uh, I pray, Lord, that you'd feed your people tonight. Uh, help us to deliver that which you placed upon our heart. Uh, and Father, all you do for us tonight, we're going to give you all the glory. Uh, for we asked it in Jesus' name and all God's people said. Amen, amen. Um, a way of introduction tonight, can I say here, Jesus, um, he is on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. Uh, and, and can I say a multitude had gathered, uh, uh, no doubt, uh, no doubt uh, to hear, to see uh, uh, what Jesus might do or what Jesus might think. Uh, or can I say uh, uh, Jesus uh, uh, was teaching or preaching and he was, uh, they gathered to see uh, 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 looking for a move of God. I hope tonight, uh, uh, listen, you came back to the sanctuary, uh, you came back to the house of God uh, to feel something from heaven and the moving uh, of the sweet Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, listen, but they, uh, they, they had came to get something from the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, their minds and their hearts uh, was only on Jesus uh, uh, believing in Christ and trusting in Christ uh, uh, focusing uh, and longing for God to touch something within their life focusing and longing on God to do something uh, uh, maybe some of them need to be delivered from just feeling defeated uh, uh, some uh, uh, maybe need, uh, needed delivery from uh, uh, being deceived uh, uh, maybe some was distressed or some was defiled oh but can I say we find in the scriptures in verse uh, 21 uh, that in the very presence there was five thousand men plus the women and children something happened within the disciples in this message when you get into the scriptures here you find you need to watch every dot and every tittle here are the disciples uh, they realize what time of day it was they begin to look at the position that they, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the multitude was in. They reported to the Lord, uh, uh, it's getting late, uh, it's getting late. Uh, uh, listen, uh, hey, we need to make some, uh, 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 we need to do something to, to take care uh, of all things that need to be taken care of this, at this time of day. In verse 6, uh, uh, 15, you see, uh, it was evening time. Uh, uh, the only position that the disciples could see that they were in, it was all a problem. 
See, the multitude had gathered to see what the Lamb of God was going to do. They had gathered to see what miracle may be performed uh, or hear something from the sovereign uh, Lord God Almighty. Uh, but the disciples... Maybe they had been around so much that they were just looking at what needed to be taken care of and wasn't expecting what was going to happen. See, they let their position, uh, uh, look here, their position became a problem to them. See, they, they, they listen, uh, uh, it was evening. They were saying, uh, uh, I believe to be around 3 o'clock, the Jews have 2, 3, and 6. Uh, uh, can I report to you, hey, it's the time of day. Uh, uh, listen, that the people were hungry. It created a problem within the disciples. Uh, uh, they reported to the Lord. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, it says, uh, and when the evening was come, his disciples came to him saying, this is a, de a desert place. The time is now past. Send them out to the... Woo! Yeah. Mm. Think about that. The people were there. Look here. The, the, the people were hungry. You've seen the need. Are you with me? Now listen to me. They was in a desert place. Uh, not many resources. Not many resources to deal with. Uh, can I say, uh, hey, the period, the time, uh, it was late. Time was running out. Mm. The disciples, uh, they had an answer for their position and their problem. We don't need this. We don't need this. Uh, uh, look, just get rid of them. Wow. Just get rid of them. Uh, uh, listen to me. Uh, uh, we don't want to deal with what's going on right now. We don't have the resources to take care of this matter. So why don't we, find, why don't we just solve it for everybody? Just get rid of them. Aren't you glad God doesn't do things the way man thinks? So? Because can I report to you, you or I, neither one would not be here. You or I, neither one would not be here. If God just got rid of all the problems that he was ever confronted with, none of us would be existing. Here the disciples, uh, they had a problem and, and, and can I say they, they just wanted to get rid of it. Uh, many times in your life and my life, uh, uh, living with the very presence of the Holy Ghost in us, uh, when we have problems, uh, uh, can I say uh, they may be problems of hindrance, uh, uh, they may be problems of heartache, uh, uh, they may be problems of hardness of life. Uh, we just want it to go away. We just want to get rid of it. We don't want it to exist. We just want it to leave us alone. But in verse 16, I, I'm glad that's not the end of the story. In verse number 16, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, we find it that Jesus uh, sort of intervenes. Uh, and, and, and when we get there, we see, but Jesus said unto them, uh, uh, they, uh, they need not to depart. Uh, give ye them to eat. Someone say amen. Isn't it good to know that Jesus does things different from the way you and I do things? Isn't it good to know that Jesus has got a grasp on his thing, knows all things? Uh, he doesn't have to struggle for understanding like you and I have to struggle for understanding. Oh, listen, uh, uh, we see in verse 16 uh, how the disciples seen their uh, position. Uh, uh, listen to me, all they saw was the problem, uh, but Jesus saw the plan. Jesus saw the plan. Uh, how the disciples, uh, how the, diaper, uh, the, uh, the disciples seen it as a problem. Jesus sees it as a plan. Many times uh, in our life, uh, we see things as a problem, but it's really God's plan. Sometimes what we go through and what we face with and the difficulties and the struggles of life that we are up against uh, day after day, week after week, year after year, and we can't grab, quite grasp it. Uh, and we're saying we just wish we could get away with it, uh, get rid of it. Uh, oh, it seems like a problem within our position, but can I say it just might be God's plan. 
might be God's plan. God tells the disciples they don't need to go anywhere. That's just paraphrasing. They don't need to leave. They're good. Huh. First of all, they didn't have nowhere to go. Huh. They didn't need to change anything. And they certainly didn't have to fix anything. Huh. God's saying, I got this. God says, I got this. God says, I can. He said, what looks difficult to you uh, because of the position that you're walking in and you're traveling in face the, on face of earth uh, and what you're dealing with at this moment uh, seems like a problem to you. Uh, it's no problem to me. I got this. I'm, hey, God can. God can. Check out the disciples here in verse 17. Uh, uh, look what he says. And, and, and they uh, say unto him, we have here. Now, now whoo, somebody, <laughs> I'll get it together. They're acting like you and me. I'm leaving now. I've already got a check. I'm just going to preach now. They're acting like you and I. They're telling God what's available. They're telling God what's there. They're telling God what He can work with. Don't that sound like us? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Now, Lord, you know I can't do that. Uh, Lord, you know I don't qualify to do that. Uh, uh, Lord, you know I can't sing. Uh, I didn't bell him to good. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, but can I say, uh, hey, we're always telling God yeah. Come on. what we think will work. Yeah. And we won't listen to the plan that God's got laid out for us. Yeah. Yeah. So we just stay in the position that the disciples was in. And our life just continues to be full of problems. Just problem after problem after problem after problem. Look with me. I I just taste that little rabbit. Look look what it says. It says, and they said unto him, talking to Christ, uh, we have here but five loaves uh, and two fishes. (laughs) Five loaves, small baked rolls uh, and and, and two fishes. uh, Hey, nothing but dried fishes. uh, Just a small boy's lunch. Are you with me? In chapter 6, uh, uh, look in Mark chapter number 6, you'll find uh, uh, that they also told him how much money he had. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 200 pence, Pastor. So they knew the things surrounding them, but they had not learned much, had they? Sure. Good. You with me? Yeah. They hadn't learned much. They began to tell him and, and illustrate to him what they had to work with. Uh, uh, can I say it? Some, it don't take much for God. Yeah, right. God can. Yeah. It don't take much for God. Little is much when God is in it. Yeah, right. Oh, can I report to you? Uh, uh, God can. Uh, hey, uh, and I wrote in my notes this. God can if we will. Yeah. Oh, amen. Good. God can if we will. See, did he... The disciples, and I'm getting ahead of myself just a tad, but, but can I? He had to reveal some things to the disciples, much like uh, today, at this moment, at this time. Uh, he is trying to reveal something to you, and He's trying to reveal something to me. Oh, but our problems are bigger than His plan. We're looking at what we got to work with, and don't understand we already got everything. We're only paying attention to what we got to work with within our very being. We're not understanding that what God can do with just a small amount. Right. The disciples, uh, uh, can I say, I wrote in my notes, they already took an inventory. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that like us? Come on, talk to me, church. Isn't it like us? We take an inventory. Well, I might can partake in this and I might can sing in the choir and I might can do this and I'm not sure I can do this. Let me see how much time. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. It's nowhere to hide up here, preacher. Isn't it like us? We always take an inventory of ourselves and 
and our position in life and what we got going on in life and what we're doing and how we're supplying for our family and, and everything that is around us. And, 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 then, and then we said, well, let me, let me see if I got any time for you, God. Looking at our positions and our problems, we're not looking at God's plan. Uh, the disciples, they took inventory of what they had. Uh, uh, their inventory uh, was the what caused the problem. They did not have enough of what they thought they needed. What they had was not large enough. Uh, it wasn't big enough uh, to fix the problem that they were looking at. God can. God can. Look with me at verse number 18. The Bible said, uh, and he said, Jesus said, bring them hither to me. See, the disciples was trying to figure out how they could accomplish what needed to be done through what they had and through themselves. See, God said, what you got, you got to give it to me. Right. You got to be willing to give it to me. You got to, you got to be willing to surrender of what it is you got. You, you need to surrender to me. Uh, you need to give it all up. Uh, uh, just deliver it to me. He said, listen, he said, bring it to me. Uh, uh, the, God is saying, if, uh, if you and I'll just take what we got, uh, uh, listen, it don't have to be a whole lot. Uh, uh, listen to me, five loaves, two fishes. Uh, uh, this is what he felt to, uh, fed a multitude with. Uh, oh, but can I say if you and I uh, uh, just take what little we can attribute uh, uh, to the God and the kingdom of the work uh, uh, that needs to be done on planet earth uh, can I say God can stretch that thing like a rubber band God can God can oh hmm. he said bring it to me and he says, I, I wrote this, I, I'm, a, I'm a letter guy, and I wrote, God can produce about anything. See, we, we try to accomplish things in our own heart and our own mind. And listen, that's not, listen to me, it's not wrong. Are you listening to me? It's good to try. Because if you don't never try, you'll fail doing nothing. You got to try. But if it's going to be any production, it's not going to be by our position and our problem. It's going to be God's plan. Because right. God can. God can. God's saying, if you'll just bring what you got, give it to me. Uh, uh, the disciples, uh, listen, the disciples' willingness uh, to invest. Mm. The disciples' willingness to invest. They had to get the, the five loads and the two fishes uh, before anything was going to work, Pastor. They had to get that together and be willing uh, to invest uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the accumulation of it, uh, uh, the deliverance of it. Are you with me? It had to be delivered to God. If God's plan was going to work and, and God was going to fix this, uh, whatever was wrong uh, or whatever they needed, uh, it had to be delivered to God. Amen. You and I, why don't we just take what we got and just believe in ourselves enough and say, with God's plan, I can do this for God. Or I can do this for God. That may not energy, energize you, but it does me. It fires me up. Let me just chase a rabbit real quick. It amazes me. It amazes me that God could take someone of the lights of myself. And allow and give me permission. Because, see, if he doesn't give you permission, you're not, hey, you, you don't need to be, mm. Yeah, right. That's what we're battling with in this world. Right. But it, it just 
amazes me that God could, could take someone like myself and come off the street like I did, uh, headed down the road that I was, uh, and look, just take what little bit I got, uh, uh, just what little bit I've got, uh, and God come in, and God set up, uh, and God take control, uh, and put me on God's plan. How did it start? How did it begin? Well, I'm glad you asked me. It had to be a willingness to just say, Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am. Can I just deliver myself? I'm not in a good position in life. Uh, hey, I got all kind of problems in my life. Uh, I don't have the ability, uh, I look here, to produce nothing. Uh, oh, but I tell you, Lord, if you'll, if you'll just show me, uh, I'll get hooked up to your plan. Uh, I'll grab you by the hand. Uh, I'll hold on to you. Uh, I'll walk through life serving you. Uh, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Uh, oh, can I just report to you? Here we find, uh, I look here, that they had, uh, hey, they had to bring what they had to the Lord. Why don't you? Listen to me. Let me challenge you a little bit. Uh, hey, you go home, you sleep on this. Uh, uh, when the devil tells you you can't do anything, when the world speaks out against you, uh, uh, why don't you tell the, the world and the devil both they're liars uh, and their father... Mm -mm. And why don't you just sell out to God? Uh, uh, why don't you just jump in the deep end? Uh, oh, listen to me. Just jump out for God. Uh, uh, just surrender to God. Uh, honey, I'm going to tell you something. You ain't never going to be happy. Uh, you're never going to be satisfied. Uh, you ain't never going to feel uh, the Spirit of the Lord uh, until you just get on God's plan. God can. God can if we will. Oh, God's looking for people just to bring what they got. Yeah. We're in verse 19. I'll try to hurry. He said, and he, command, uh, and he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, and he took the five loaves and the two fishes, uh, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and he broke, uh, and he gave the loaves to the disciples, uh, and the disciples to the multitude. Do you know, do you, before I get it, do you see what I say? They're beginning to participate. <laughs> it's called working together. Doing something for God. Are you with me? Participating. It's involvement. It's called involvement. Uh, how the, the disciples uh, had the willingness to listen. What did they do? They brought what they had. What about uh, uh, the lad's willingness to give up his lunch? Huh. What about the Lord? You get this now. What about the Lord giving it back to the disciples, the one that he just had to tell how it was going to work? <laughs> it's going over your head right now. You'll get it later. They was the one complaining. Are y'all with me? They were the ones saying, we got a problem. Our position's bad. I don't know what we're going to do about this. This is not here going to work out. Get rid of them. Run them off. And here's the Lord. After their obedience of going and doing what the Lord said, he said, give unto me. And the disciples went, got the five loaves and the two fishes, and they rendered it to the Lord. At the lad was willing to give, and the God gave it back to the disciples. Isn't he a good God? God can. Even when we're out of fellowship a little bit, or, or, or we're a little hard understanding, uh, uh, my wife calls it even hard headed. And she's talking about me, not you. That the Lord was willing to give it to the disciples. Can I say he trusted them with it? See, when we don't understand everything and, and we don't grasp everything, uh, uh, listen, we'll get on God's plan. Uh, uh, God said that's under the blood. Uh, I forgot all about that. Uh, that's in your memory. Uh, that's something you keep thinking about. Uh, I forgot all, oh, oh, that's past time. Uh, oh, if you just come on, get hooked up. Uh, uh, listen to me, I'll put you back on the pine line again. God can. God can. 
the disciples, uh, the Lord gave to the disciples. Uh, he trusted uh, the disciples and the disciples, uh, uh, listen, gave to the multitude. You know what they're doing? They were sharing. They were sharing the blessings of the Lord. Can I say tonight, uh, honey, if you hear you don't have anything in your life, uh, if you've been saved by the grace of God, uh, if your name's been penciled down in the Lamb's book of life, uh, there ought to be a shout about you. Uh, there ought to be a glow about you. Uh, there ought to be a little waving about you. Uh, there ought to be some joy of uh, uh, rejoicing in the Lord about you. Uh, oh, can I tell you, if you can't do anything else, you can tell them what the Lord done for you. You can tell them what God done for you. Because God can. God can. Sure can. <laughs> God's plan can fix all our problems. Wrote down. To fix them, we've got to take an inventory of ourselves. Are you listening to me? We've got to take an inventory of ourselves. And we've got to believe in ourselves that it's worth investing to the Lord. Amen. It's enough to invest in giving to the Lord. And then we need some involvement. Just get involved. You know, I'd rather fail trying to do something for God and sit down and never do nothing. I'd rather, be, I'd rather be humiliated. I'd rather be laughed at, Pastor. I'd rather be talked about than sitting down and doing nothing for the Lord. God didn't save you and me to sit down and do nothing. He wanted us to get on God's plan. Say amen. Uh, uh, everyone, uh, hey, can I say, uh, you know, it troubles me. I realize that we're living in the most busiest time on planet Earth. I realize that. Aren't your days full from the time the clock goes off in the morning until you piddle your head at night? Uh, look here. Hey, you're either active or your head is a churning uh, and you got this you need to do and you got that needs to be done and you got to take care of this and you got to take care of that. Uh, can I report to you? We're living in a busy, busy time. Can I report to you? God knowed. Right, right, right. God knowed. But it was really troubling to me when Christians people who claim to be Christians, christ -like, people who claim to be going to heaven and love the Lord when they're too busy to do anything in the church. When you're too busy to do anything in the church, uh, uh, can I, I, I wrote this in my notes and you can read it. Uh, uh, listen, if anybody's too busy to serve in God's house, uh, you probably won't get to eat at the master's table. You say, it's mean. No, it's Bible. Get the God's plan. It's got, listen to me, you and I both, uh, you and I both know this. Uh, hey, listen to me, uh, we all deserved hell. God had mercy on us. God saved our soul. Hey, we're, as I say, we're hammered down, heaven bound, not backing up, slacking up, uh, shutting up, I'm taking up. Somebody say Amen. Oh, glory be to God. Uh, listen to me. God, uh, hey, God can and, and, and we as God's people. If we ever going to do anything, we need to get busy. Yes, sir. Sure. God being good to you. Yeah. Amen. God being good to me. Amen. <laughs> Have you ever figured out why God lets us do what we do? Come on, talk to me. Why in the name of Jesus would God let J.D. Walker do all the things that he does? Hmm. He sure is good. Amen. Yeah. yeah. You say, well, preacher, what do you do? I'd do anything that's available. Getting ready to go to South Dakota on a missionary trip. I ain't bragging on me. I'm bragging on Jesus. Amen. 
I'm going to go up there and work about a week at the Indian Reservation. Somebody, you say you go up there too. I sure do. You say, how you been in jail? I don't know. God does it. <laughs> he going to feed me. He bought my plane ticket. <laughs> oh, listen to me. Got to get on God's plan. Got to get on God's plan. Look at verse 20. I got to try to find a place somewhere to quit. It says, and they, and they did all eat and were filled, uh, and they took up uh, of the fragments that remained 12 baskets full. Uh, uh, can I say you got proof? Proof from the Word of God. You got proof. Uh, proof what? Uh, they all did eat. Uh, they were all satisfied. Uh, the problems were gone. Uh, in so much that there was uh, uh, frag uh, fragments left, uh, 12 baskets. Uh, God can if we will. Uh, uh, we seen the disciples uh, in their position uh, with their problems. Uh, we saw the Lord's plan uh, with the productions and the participation uh, and with the proof uh, that God can. Uh, oh, how does this work? How does this work? Can I say the Lord did not do anything until they brung him what he asked for? Are y'all with me? I'm about done. The Lord did not do anything until the disciples did what he requested. Is it anything in your life that the Lord has requested of you? Is anything the Lord's waiting on you? Think about it. Think about it. When the Lord received the, uh, received the uh, five loaves and the two fishes, can I say the Lord took it? He received it. He touched it. He broke it. He transformed it and he bestowed it. When he, listen to me. On verse 18, verse 18 said this. Uh, he says, bring it hither to me. God's plan. You with me? God's plan. God can if we will. How many in here would do this for me? I'm done. I'm done. Let me say, preacher, I'm saved. Would you raise your hand? Preacher, I'm saved. Just, just hold it up. I'm, I'm getting a little time on me. It takes me a little while to get around. So, so from what I can see, everybody didn't raise their hand and say, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm going to heaven. I, I know Jesus is my Savior. I'm going. Now, how many of you that raised your hand and trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior to carry you to heaven how many of you, and don't raise your hand right now, how many of you say, Preacher, I want to get on God's plan. I want to get on God's plan. I want God to speak to me. I want God to tell me to do something. I want to get on God's plan. I want to be in the Lord's army. I want to be on the front line. Can I tell you? God can, if we will. One more question, I'm done. As the pianist comes. How many would be honest and say, Preacher, I want to do something for the Lord? If you, do, you want to do something for the Lord, raise your hand. I want to do something for the Lord. I want to do something for the Lord. I want to do something for the Lord. Do you know something? If the Lord would give me that privilege and He won't, you know what I'd do? I'd start over here and I'd go to each and every one of you and I said, The Lord said for you to do this. And the Lord said for you to do that. And the Lord said for you to do this. And He said for you to do this. And you do, If I could, I, hey, I would, but God's not going to give me that privilege. The only way that you're going to be able to do what God wants you to do is you've got to get on God's plan. And you know where that starts at? That starts with the revealing of your heart. The revealing of your heart. The willingness to want to do something for God so bad that you can get out of them pews where you're so comfortable at. You're so content to sit right there till everything is done and everything is finished and everything is completed 
and we can just go out the door and we can say, well, I've been to the house of God today and, and, and I've heard the word of God today and we sung about God today. And you're going to leave with the same thing inside your heart that you came with. God can if we will. If you want to do something for the Lord tonight, why don't you get up, why don't you come get around this altar and say, Lord, it's me. Lord, it's me. Lord, it's me. Lord, would you tell me what to do? Lord, would you reveal to me what you want me to do? Lord, would you give me something to do? God, would you just whisper with that still, quiet voice? And hey, well, Lord, would you just tell me? Uh, uh, give me a hint, God. What about you, sir? What about you, ma'am? Just come on. Just come on. God can. God can if we will. God can. Oh, but that question, if we will, no greater pleasures, no greater victories. Pastor, you come. Do you struggle to find good Bible-based resources to supplement your personal devotions? If so, head on over to ibcflorence.com today and click on Bookstore, where we have a ton of resources. And as always, Thanks for listening.